that's him. Come from Edessa to Antioch. In the new city unknown, he continues his composition. At last it is done. Eighty-three minted poems in all. Such labour, such intensity. The weary lyrist is wrung, his talent worn, his head too full of words. And it all seems so worthless, all that effort wasted. Then a sudden thought lightens his mood. He imagines them saying, There goes the man, that's him, the poet. Like words to those the scribbler Lucian heard as he lay dreaming. King Demetrius Abandoned by the Macedonians, who favoured his rival Pyrrhus, noble Demetrius didn't react like a king. He simply slid out of his golden robes, kicked off the royal purple shoes. Dressed as a commoner, he left at once, like an actor when the play is done, changing out of his costume, slipping away down the street. The Old Town You said, I'll emigrate, find somewhere better than this. Whatever I do turns sour, I feel as if entombed. I'll not stay here and rot away. Here my life is ruined, my years run uselessly into the sand. You will not find another country, nor sail an unknown sea. This town will dog you everywhere. To whichever place you journey, our faded streets will follow. You will age in these same districts, turn grey in similar houses. In your wanderings, you will always end up here. You spoiled your life in this crumbling town. So it will be wherever you go. The Province Satrapy How awful that you, so noble, so accomplished, never get a chance to prove yourself in a fulfilling manner. Vulgar people stand in your way, the mean and the indifferent. It will be a sorry day when you disregard your higher principles and set out for Susa and the court of Artaxerxes, the great king. Of course he will take you in, offer you the governance of some province, all that sort of thing. So demeaning, not at all what you deserve. Despairing, you will feel you have to accede. Your intellect was formed for better things. The acclamations of the people, the praise of the philosophers, the senate, the public stage, crowned with crowns of laurel. You won't get these from Artaxerxes or from governing some huge province. Without them, how you will droop in an unfit setting. Ides of March I mustn't get above myself. 
If I cannot curb ambition, I'll be extra vigilant the higher I ascend the greasy pole. And when I get to the top, leader of the Roman state, assuming that persona, I shall be very careful going out in public, surrounded by my retinue. Should Artemidorus, who cautioned Julius Caesar, or somebody like him, thrust a letter into my hand, saying, as he said to him, Read this at once, and heed my warning. I will scrutinize his paper in minute detail, disregarding people pressing to see me, disregarding even vital business. I will ignore the sycophants. The Senate itself will have to wait, all those noble and learned gentlemen, while I carefully study Artemidorus's words. The God Abandons Antony At the ghostly midnight hour you sense an unseen procession, a mystic train sweeping onwards past you, accompanied by melodious voices you hear a thrilling music, the sound of waves on a deserted beach, drenched in bright white moonlight, the whisper of star to star along galactic highways. At last your lucks run out, all you made and did is turned to water, trickling away through illusory hands held out in supplication. Do not despair, you're ready, you have courage. Whisper farewell to Alexandria, she is passing. Don't choose the prosaic option, do not say the music was a dream, that you imagined voices. That would just be silly, you are ready. You have your courage. You were worthy of this great city. Step to the window. Go out upon the balcony. Listen with responding deep emotion, which sets aside all carping, any whining, to that precious fading melody, to the voices of the unseen company and say goodbye. Farewell to Alexandria, who is leaving.